Good day. Please rise for the singing of O Canada. My name is Lyle Johnson and for many years I was a teacher here at Peacock and since I've retired I've still maintained an involvement with the Remembrance Day services. Welcome to the AE Peacock Remembrance Day service. I'm honored to be part of this great tradition for many years and very proud of the respect this school has shown to honor our veterans and serving members of the Canadian Armed Forces. It brings dignity to today's program and pride in the history of our staff and students who have served our nation as members of the military. Thank you very much for allowing me to be part of this event. I am truly grateful. Good day. I'd like to begin this today by acknowledging that we are on the traditional lands referred to as Treaty 4 and our school is located on Treaty 4 territory and the homeland of the Métis. We pay our respect to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place and reaffirm our relationship with one another. Our remembrance service is an important one for each of us. It is a time where we stop everything that we are doing to remember, reflect and appreciate the millions of Canadians who have served or who are currently serving in the armed forces. A remembrance service such as this is a somber, serious and essential service that is used to show our respect for all those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Those that have made this sacrifice are not unknown soldiers from some far off place. Often and in many cases they're much like you, young men and women. It is important that we stop and take the time to remember them. Our school, Peacock Collegiate, has a deep connection with the armed forces. Since opening our doors in 1931, we've had countless students, parents, family members and even neighbours who have been involved in war and peacekeeping efforts. And in fact, at one time, Peacock even offered specialized military training. You see the connection that we have with the military uh, throughout our school whether it's the War Memorial on First Avenue or the HMCS Moose Jaw display through the pages of our yearbooks, our history books about Peacock and Moose Jaw, mention in memory of these brave individuals is everywhere. Now, although this year's service is different, having to share this to you through video, the spirit and purpose of the service remains the same, to take the time to stop, reflect and appreciate those who serve. We remember. Today as you leave, or tomorrow on November 11th, please take time to stop at the War Memorial on the west side of our school and place a poppy or stop and pause in memory of those who have sacrificed everything for our freedom. Before I close, I'd like to say thank you in advance to all of the staff, the volunteers, the students and guests who've been involved in the service today. These include Mr. Lyle Johnson, who has volunteered to lead the service for many years and is an important volunteer in our school. Also, we very much appreciate the attendance and support of our distinguished guest from 431 Squadron, the Snowbirds. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Colonel Dennis Bandet, for being a part of our service today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Swanson. 
It is now my honor to introduce our guest of honor today, who continues the tradition of connection the Peacock has with number 431 Air Demonstration Squadron, the Snowbirds. Lieutenant Colonel Bandette is originally from Regina and joined the forces in 1997. His career has taken him from Moose Jaw to Cold Lake to Bagotville, Quebec, and he's also been involved as a fighter pilot with many NATO taskings throughout North America, the Middle East, and Europe. With the Snowbirds, he was a team member from 2011 to 2013 and returned as team lead, Snowbird 1, in 2017. Since then, he has been promoted to his current rank in June, uh, and he has become the commanding officer this past summer. Lieutenant Colonel Bandet. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Colonel Dennis Bandet. I'd first like to thank the students, faculty, and staff for inviting me to speak today on behalf of the Canadian Air Force, 15 Wing Moose Jaw, and 431 Air Demonstration Squadron. I want to touch a little bit about what Remembrance Day means to me, and I can think of three words uh, to start it off with. It's appreciation, respect, and compassion. So the appreciation is that we live in a largely peaceful time in, in our timeline in history, and that we have to uh, really not take for granted what we do every day. We have the freedom of movement, freedom of speech, and as you've seen in the last while, the freedom to choose our, our leaders in the community. Uh, that doesn't come without a price, and a lot of people in the, our past have paid, that, uh, paid their ultimate sacrifices to make that happen. Um, it's important to not go past every day uh, taking our liberties and our freedoms for granted. And as the November 11th approaches, it's a time to take that special moment to pay uh, our respects to those who have fallen and those who have served. The second moment, or the second piece I'd like to touch on is respect. Uh, I think it goes without saying that we wouldn't have all our luxuries and our freedoms that we have today without those who have served. And I think it's important to realize that it's not just uh, those who are currently serving, but we have to remember those in past. And that's really earmarks the, the importance of November 11th. We often uh, associate uh, November 11th with uh, times and dates in the past. And I think it's important, uh, those who have sacrificed uh, from the Great War um, into World War II, moving on to the Gulf War, we have Kosovo, we have as recently as um, Afghanistan and into Iraq. Um, those are all tied in there. And I think it's really important, uh, going back to the first one when we talk about the Great War, is that there are people that were serving in that war that are not much older than the grade 12s that you have in class today. And to leave their families and their friends and the comforts of home to go and, and fight across the ocean and into a different world is something that uh, has earned my respect and, and continues to, to have my respect. The same can be said for World War II and the, uh, the quick to jump to arms to help our, our comrades and our allies in a cause that really, when we sit at home in Canada, seems like a world far away, but it's for the greater cause and it was for the greater good. And, uh, and again, the ultimate sacrifices were made. Moving forward into Korea and into Afghanistan, Kosovo, Libya, and even Iraq, these are people who are leaving their families and their friends and their colleagues and the comforts of home to secure our freedoms. Uh, the expression of freedom is not free. It comes at a price and a lot of people have paid that price. Speaking about compassion, it's, we have to remember that the price of freedom isn't free and with that came the loss of lives. You see that uh, day to day with the monument that's outside your college or your collegiate and you can see the names that have come with that. Um, we, we really appreciate the, the sacrifices those individuals made. And you have to remember that each of those people had friends, families, brothers, sisters, and those are the ones that also deserve the compassion that they've lost a loved one in those conflicts. The second portion of the compassion is those who were returned without the visible scars and continue to battle day to day with PTSD. Post-traumatic stress disorder is, is very relevant and, and very much a concern of what in today's society. You can walk past somebody in the street without knowing that they were a service member, that they've, pay, they've changed their lives uh, and are struggling day to day because of what they've had to deal with. 
uh, a simple hello, a kind gesture will go a long way. And I think that will go uh, just in society in general to be kind and respectful. But knowing that somebody that you may see on the side of the street who is uh, who's struggling, who uh, maybe uh, maybe not living the same life that you may be leading, may be dealing with more than what's on the surface. And so that's where the compassion comes in. Uh, I'd like to go back to my first speaking point, appreciation, and really taking to heart that we need to really appreciate what we have and don't worry about what we don't have. We pay respect to those who have served, fallen, and paid the ultimate sacrifice, and that's what we're doing here today. And then the compassion side of it is I think will serve everybody well uh, by carrying that to heart and showing compassion day to day, but knowing that people are struggling and need help out there, and they just uh, they need your help with that. Everybody in this school can play their part, and being uh, respectful at all times. Uh, I know everybody, uh, Moose Jaw is known for the smiling faces, and the kind gestures, I see that every day. And uh, just keep up, the, keep up the positive attitude. I know 2020 has been a challenging year for many, but know that in 1914 to 1918 and 1939 to 1945 and the other conflicts I talked about, those years were much worse for many of those people. So 2020 can be an inconvenience. It puts it in perspective. Stay strong, stay healthy. Thank you for your time. We will now have the laying of the wreath by Mr. Swanson and Gracie Fargo, the SLC president. Please rise and remain standing in respectful silence for the playing of the last post, the two minutes of silence, and the playing of Reveille.
Again, thank you for the participation in your Remembrance Day service this year. Well done. Now I ask Mr. Swanson to come in with some closing thoughts. Mr. Swanson. Thank you again to Lieutenant Colonel Dennis Bandette for being a part of our service today. We so much appreciate having a representative of the Armed Forces here with us. Thank you to our staff, to our students, and any guests who are joining us to be part of this important service in our year. Again, I encourage each of you to take a moment today or tomorrow to stop at the War Memorial and place a poppy or stop and pause in reflection of all those who have served. We remember. For those who leave never to return, for those who return but are never the same, we remember. As we close our service today, we'd ask that you would rise for the singing of God Save the Queen. <laughs> 